Hi. Now in this part of the question, we're given that cos squared theta plus sine squared theta is 1, and we've got to show that tan squared theta equals sec squared theta minus 1. They tell us actually in the question, this is quite interesting, they say given the identity cos squared theta plus sine squared theta equals 1, yet they don't use the identity symbol, just the equal symbol. So I'm going to change that, okay? And I'm just going to put a line over the top. And we've got to show that tan squared theta is then identical to sec squared theta minus 1. So if we take this identity, let's start with cos squared theta plus sine squared theta is identical to 1. So how are we going to get this? Well, I get a few clues here because tan squared theta is the same as sine squared theta over cos squared theta. Remember, tan theta is always sine theta over cos theta, so tan squared theta will be sine squared theta over cos squared theta. And sec squared theta is 1 over cos squared theta. So it seems as if what we should do is divide through by cos squared theta. Divide both sides by cos squared theta. And what's that going to give us? Well, it will give us cos squared theta over cos squared theta then plus, and for this term, sine squared theta over cos squared theta, and that would be identical to 1 over cos squared theta. Now, cos squared theta over cos squared theta, that cancels, goes once, once. So therefore, what we've got here is 1, sine squared theta over cos squared theta is tan squared theta and 1 over cos squared theta is sec squared theta. So you can see this is coming to what we've got to prove. All we've got to do is take 1 away from both sides so therefore we end up with tan squared theta is identical to sec squared theta minus 1. And there you have it.